Hey everybody, I am back today with our Through the Rainbow Hop. Today's layout is going to focus on the color orange and I'm gonna be using some hybrid papers. So these are all papers from my rather large hybrid stash. So I printed all of these out myself and I want to use, I also printed out these ephemera pieces just to add a little bit more to my layout for layering pieces in a journaling spot. And then I have these die cuts and stickers from Journals for Life. They have some orange accents and coffee. And I have the stamps too, but I'm not gonna end up using them at all. So I also have these letters. These are already made thickers, my own DIY <laughs> thickers. Um, they're die cut letters and I have gone ahead and embossed them with some charred gold embossing powder from Emerald Creek. I am not 100% sure where my pattern papers came from, like what collections they're from. I purchase a lot of patterned papers, digital pattern papers that I can print. I purchase them from Snap and Click Supply Company, and most of them are like Basic Gray or Adrian Lohman or Cosmo Cricut. So it's probably one of those. But when I was going through my digital papers to choose the ones I wanted to print, I was strictly going for shades of orange because orange is our rainbow color we are working with uh, this month. If you have not jumped in and took a peek at all of the amazing talented creators that are doing this hop with, well, it's kind of a hop, kind of a series, I highly recommend you check out my description box and go check out all the girls that are doing this hop. They are all amazingly talented and so sweet. You will find lots of really fabulous creators to follow. I used some really dark brown cardstock and then I chose a lighter colored patterned paper. I am going to create a layout. I'm actually gonna kind of scrap lift myself. Um, I'm, I'm gonna use a page design that I have used probably over and over again. It's a page design I love because you can get lots of beautiful layers of pattern paper. Um, it's kind of a really easy page design. I really, really love this one and I use it multiple times. It's a great page design for three photos um, and it's just like a go-to. It's something I use all quite often. So it starts with the pattern paper matted on cardstock and then you cut two strips of pattern paper and then two of your photos kind of sits on one of those pattern paper strips and the third photo kind of sits on the other pattern paper strip and you can move those all around and do whatever you want with them <laughs> wherever you want them on those pattern paper strips uh and yeah i really really like this page design it's a great one when you sit down and you want to just put together a layout pretty fast I um, I know I've used it before. I've used it for um, the most recent layout I can think of is one from last year uh, that I did for uh, a cherry on top using a Pink Fresh Studio line. And it's really funny that I can remember what, what layout I used it on last. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm inking everything up using Distress Oxide Vintage Photo. And I'm gonna go ahead and get these paper strips down. Next up, I am going to map my photos. And to map my photos, I'm gonna use this like water colory brown pattern paper. This is definitely an Adrian Lohman pattern paper. Um, and I definitely got it from the Snap Click Supply Place. I have, uh, if you check out my hybrid boot camp playlist you'll see that we have one collab video that tells you all about all the places we like to shop for hybrid papers and digital papers that you can then print so um, head over and check out that video if you want to know all the spots I love to buy stuff from um, Adrian Lohman used to design for Webster's pages and she has loads of digital products and I'm pretty sure that that paper with the squares it, and also that other kind of more corally colored one is from 
basic gray, I think. I'm trying here. I'm trying, guys. I'm really trying because you know someone's going to want to know, like, where did all this paper come from? So that's the best I got. <laughs> I am going to go ahead and mat all of my photos on that coffee paper and then I'm going to go ahead and get them down on my page. I used all the vintage photo distress oxide ink on all my different layers for this layout. Um, and we are documenting coffee today, specifically my son's newest coffee obsession, which is French press coffee. I am adding a journaling spot on this page. Now you're not going to see the journaling on camera because uh, my youngest son, Logan, he is going to do the journaling on this page. So I have a spot there for him to put his journaling on about how much he loves French press coffee and how it's his newest kind of thing. And uh, so I'm just going to have the journaling spot be there. And then I'll date the journaling spot and he will do his writing on it and we'll be all good. These die cuts are from Journals for Life. Journal, yeah, Journals for Life. And they are coffee die cuts. They're so fun. I've had them in my stash forever. And when I took these photos in my head, I went, oh, I have die cuts to go with this. And then I was so excited when I took a look at these die cuts because there were these beautiful shades of orange in them. And I was like, perfect, perfect for our through the rainbow hop today. I do love orange, uh, but I tend to gravitate towards orange strictly as a fall color. So I gave myself a bit of an extra challenge for today's project. The first challenge, uh, you guys know I've been trying really hard to keep my layouts for this hop monochromatic. So I did keep this monochromatic. There is a good bit of neutrals, but there is no other color except shades of orange. The other thing I challenged myself to do was to not make a fall layout. So that worked out really, really well when I was going through my stash and pulled out those die cuts and went, yes, orange. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> so this is not a fall layout. My son just got this French press and just started making French press coffee like within the last month. I am actually, uh, I've said this before, but I kind of run out of pic of photos of my kids. They don't, they're older. They're not doing a lot of stuff right now. And so generally speaking, when I have a story to tell about them, uh, about my boys, or I have photos of my boys, they get scrapbooked immediately. <laughs> so I have my photos, I have my journaling, and now I'm going to add a couple little die cut clusters. These uh, clusters are going to kind of finish out these strips of paper. And um, I love this page design. I just love it. I, as soon as I can use it, as soon as I feel like enough time has passed, that I can, um, that it's not going to end up like side by side in a book. I am totally using it again. It's my, it's seriously one of my favorite page designs. So I went ahead and I finished, I did use some of those uh, like free sticker strips that I had printed. I used the journaling box and then I had printed some banners, but I didn't end up using them. They, they just weren't needed once I had everything else. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add my title. So I did my title when I was doing a whole mess of titles. Uh, and so I have it all spelled out in a little um, recycled, reused bag, and I'm ready to go. I'm going to use a couple of these stickers. Um, I'm not going to use a ton. I just, I think I used three maybe, but they are so cute. There's lots of stickers there. I love this coffee collection from Journals for Life. It is a really, really nice set of products. So I have this cute new T-square roller. It's from My Sweet Petunia, which is the same company that makes the Misty. And it's just six inches, but it's heavy. Like it's made really heavy and it stays put. It doesn't jump over the edge of my page. So I got I got the T-square rollers that, that from My Sweet Petunia. I'm just, I wish, wish, wish that they were just a little bit longer, but uh, I'm willing to work with the six inches that they are because they aren't popping over the edge of my paper at all. They're actually staying put, which is letting me get things that are much straighter. I'm adhering all these letters down with Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive, my favorite go-to wet glue. 
And now for a little bit of last minute decor, I'm gonna add a couple more of these small stickers. So I'm adding them in these little areas just to kind of uh, firm up or what's the word like fill in where there might be gaps like around my title or I want to know that or I know going in I want to add something onto my journaling spot at the bottom and that's just going to add you know kind of pull in those last little bits to fill out my page and that is where we're going to call this one all done I will see you back again next month for yellow and I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Be sure to check out all the amazing girls that are um, also participating in this fun little monthly challenge. And I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.